Hello, it's Molly Reamer with Bridges Grove and 30 Days of Goddess with one of my three to, let's say, six minute mini ritual videos for you. And so from Woman Runes, we received the heart, the rune of love and passion. And so are you listening to your heart? Are you trusting your heart? Are you taking time in your heart to choose and react and move forward based on love. And I am actually reading a book right now called, um, oh shoot, what is it called? Living Untethered, I believe, written by the author of The Untethered Soul. It's like his follow-up, but I'm reading it first because it was available to the library and the other one wasn't. And so I think it's called Living Untethered by like Michael Singer, I believe. And he talks about the heart and how the heart has a lot of, you know, energetic streams and a lot of information and wisdom for you. And that when he's speaking of the heart, he's talking about kind of the higher heart almost. So the heart in the moment can change a lot and feelings can come and go and ebb and flow. But when you've cleared out some of those energetic blockages, so to speak, and you're not acting from unhealed wounds, the higher heart comes into play to teach you and listen. So when I see this card, I think about that, like, what is that, you know, what does that higher heart say and how are we moving forward? And I don't, I'm going to clarify real quick. I don't really like that kind of language of like kind of high, high I don't like the um, type of approaches that sort of imply that you have to transcend the, the human in order. So the using language like higher heart, I balk at a little bit, but I think we understand what he means, which is kind of like the more expansive, you know, wider heart, broader heart, um, spiritually aligned heart, whatever. So anyway, I just want to clarify that a little bit about the higher heart. And so any, interestingly, I had, before I picked this rune, I'd already chosen the heart card that I made for the symbol seekers journey with Fiona of global village, Witch, and I had already picked this card and then I picked the rune and it was also the heart. And so I thought that was kind of a cool little connection. So this was my own card for that symbol seekers class. And the message of the heart is know that you are loved, trust your instincts, make love the center of your choices, respond with care and compassion whenever possible and keep your heart open. That can feel hard lately. There's so many things going on and there's so much there's so much to be justifiably righteously indignant about and, and outraged about. And so it can be hard to be to keep our hearts open in the face of all those things. And so I remind myself that, you know, it's okay to rest sometimes and to feel joy. And sometimes our joy and our delight and our own magic can be one of our greatest acts of resistance in a fragmented and outraged culture. And, you know, take time to enjoy the sunshine on your feathers. Pay attention, but keep your heart open too. And um, then I chose from my own little cut your own expansion decks for the daily practice companion deck and we got no as the word so oh may you know that you can trust your heart may you know that keeping your heart open is a powerful act in a really in a culture that clamors at you to shut your heart and then let's see what else I got a practice. This is from the Daily Practice Starter Kit. These are free printable cards from the 30daysofgoddess.com site when you sign up for our newsletter there, or there's also links in past newsletters to access the kit and the materials. So light a candle and send out a prayer for peace. The idea with these cards is that you can create a really simple and ready to go small ritual in any any moment. I used them recently when we were traveling and I was pleased to see how it recentered me to have these little cards and practices with me because I sometimes think I you know I spend so much time making things to give to other people that sometimes I forget to enjoy them myself or take advantage of them myself and so having the cards with me on our trip I was able to sink into that moment even though I was in you know the fourth floor of a hotel in a big city and had a lot going on I was able to pick my little cards and be like ah, yes this is what I needed a small little pause sacred pause 
and then the prayer, which actually connects really well with no as a prompt word. I am open to the wisdom of the ancestors, the wisdom of the elements, and the wisdom of the present moment. And then I felt like also that I felt like also choosing an affirmation that's from our booster pack for the daily practice deck. And then I picked one more prayer from the daily practice companion deck for 30 days of goddess as well. And this, these are the, these are the print your own expansions. These are the professionally printed deck that's available in the Etsy shop, which is bridgesgrove.etsy.com. And so let's see, I'm going to, we're actually going to do the affirmation first. I accept the invitation to sit with joy and create my life. So I hope you will carry that with you into the week ahead, into the month ahead, accepting the invitation to sit with joy and create your life. What do you want? What is your heart saying? What do you know? And the final prayer to send us on our way. May I walk in wonder. May I extend my hand to touch the infinite. May I bow at the feet of mystery. Thank you so much for being here.